Hello and welcome back to another newscast of Blueprint Stonky. I'm your co-host, Snug. And I'm your co-host, Bread. Bread, how are you doing today? Uh, there's a lot of political trouble in the world, so not too good. What can you tell me about this political trouble, Bread? Well, there was an election that was going to happen. Yes, I remember the election of Spawn Town. Sniffershire now, I think. Now that we have a now that we have a new a new mayor. I have heard that he was rightfully elected by the people of Sniffershire. Have you seen the newest house the mayor is living in? I have. Because as it happens, the mayor decided to build his own mayoral mansion before an election could take place. Thus declaring himself <laughs> the mayor. Would you say the mayor bowl? <laughs> <laughs> the mayor bowl. What a quip. The mayor bowl. I hear that you have a room in the mayor bowl mansion as well. I do. And you know what? Maybe we should actually uh, take a look at this mansion and the room within. Uh, cameraman Kevin, play the clip. Oh, there's there's a bunch of plots already reserved over here. There, or there's a plot that's labeled Future House of Mayor. <laughs> Maybe we can, we, we can build it like directly across from that plot. There's a big open space. It can be just like facing it. Um, and then if somebody else decides to build their own mayor house, it'll be like a couple blocks away. What you doing? Nothing. Well, seeing as how there's this sign over here that says House of Future Mayo. <laughs> that actually isn't our sign. You're building the mayoral mansion. No, somebody... Yeah, you're, you're infringing on Dulska. Somebody wants to build one right here. Bradley is not going to be in any danger. It's trust. Uh, I am not uh, going to be your lawyer anymore. I have a 100% success rate. I'll tell you right now, I have no intentions on going to court. So guess what we're doing? What are you doing? We're making a mayor's mansion ahead of the election, and we're going to just declare me mayor. I think it'll go over really well. I don't think there will be any pushback at all from anybody. Okay, how, how's that? It looks amazing. Awesome. That's fantastic. <laughs> and it is still a work in progress, but look at this. Oh my god, we built this all in one afternoon because we wanted to get a head start on everybody's elections, and so now Orb is officially the mayor of the town. Do you have a piece of string? No. Can you get me one? Um, what is don't what come is in! Don't come in! <laughs> don't, don't come in! What is Disney? <laughs> don't come in! What the hell is You have a chest, you can't even open! Mind your own room. <laughs> This is my space. <laughs> I don't have any string. This is so cute. Thank you. I love this. Thank you. And so the leaves are there purposefully so they don't walk over sitting on the side. Just think it's a little more I love it. Can you stop doing that? I just wanted to see <laughs> if the floor and ceiling I, was connected. I want an election. I want an election. <laughs> I want Bradley out of here. I'll take a spot, gladly. <laughs> Rose absolutely hates her co-workers. <laughs> Do you have any spare wool? <laughs> Get out of my room! <laughs> I'm trapped in the ceiling. <laughs> I'll come back, and there better be floor space when I come But there is. Bradley, Bradley, you're a This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> just, just move the things to the side. It's fine. Just, yeah, just move stuff around. Just move the boxes. <laughs> we did. Bradley, come here. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh my god, yes! Um, I think... Oh yeah! Yeah. Put as many as you want to. So have you been in here, Kaylee? I guess. No, I went in. I went in already. Do you like it? Do you... Do you like it? 
You. Um, silence says everything. Do you like it, Rose? Your, I don't know. Your room is so empty, and the walls are so bare. I have some mangrove roots if you want to change that. You know what? It's very. Um, it reminds me of my cousins growing up. Yeah. Were your cousins like interior designers or something? So, no, Rose, I have a piece of leather for you. <laughs> That is, that is quite nice, quite nice. It's beautiful, and uh, the room is beautiful too. Everybody else wants their rooms to look just like it, I've heard. The room really is beautiful. You know, I have not seen a more unique style than this. I think the, the mayor is going to bring some good art and development to the town. It could be a renaissance, but unfortunately our, our mayor has faced a little bit of backlash. I have heard, I've heard there are some people that aren't quite happy with our mayor who was rightly elected. I've heard a similar thing. And in fact, we've gotten word of an organization called Citizens Against Orb. Uh, take a look at these clips of these threatening messages left around Spawn. I, I saw, I saw one of those messages in the mailbox the other day and I don't know if I feel that safe anymore. I had a hard time going out my front door after seeing that in my own mailbox. I hope this is something that the mayor has a plan to squash immediately. Agreed. Agreed. Now, along with the mayor, there have been uh, several other mayoral cabinet appointments, um, including myself, as uh, heads of, of parks and infrastructure which uh, I actually got the pleasure of meeting with uh, PETA, Pathway Experts Trained in Architecture, who I now oversee. And I have to say, they're very happy about the situation. Dodo and Velxa, the founding members, had a meeting with me in my office, which they, they said they were, gonna, they were gonna model their houses to look like. needing to go to the end. Hey, I see you sneaking over there. I'm just curious about donkeys. Oh, hey, Bradley. Hey. I have a, hold on a second. Wait right there. Hold on a second. Okay. So, you know how at the beginning of the game, you don't have access to a lot of XP. Mending's hard to come by, right? Yes. So you're always worried about your tools running out of durability. Absolutely. Well, what if... I told you there's a way you don't need to worry about that. I'm listening. Introducing disposable tools. <laughs> Why didn't you warn me that he was a scam <laughs> artist? <laughs> scam? No, these that are high so quality. Weird. Well, then that then you'll need your mobile shulker boxes. Oh yeah. Like, are these the donkeys? <laughs> you want not me? donkeys. No, not donkeys. Yes. They're they're mobile shulker boxes. And you want Big me difference. to bring the mobile shulker box uh, that needs food and water down into the mines as well? That sounds like an FFS violation. Uh, we don't need to worry about what FFS might say about <laughs> this. Hey. So, do you have any examples of these uh, portable shulker boxes? I um uh. uh <laughs> They're they're still in the warehouse. I haven't. Oh, I haven't broken them out yet. Well, um, we could go to the warehouse. Oh, uh, shoot! I lost the key, so I'm kind of locked out at the moment. Oh, that's rough. Still, I'm sorting it out. Uh, yeah. Have you ever heard a, of breaking and entering? Slight little. Static. I have a lock pick. <laughs> Reputable business decisions aside, uh, do you have a second to step into my office? Uh, you have is an this about? Oh, your representatives yeah, of PETA, you have right? An we're we're oh. the 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 operators of PETA, not representatives. Oh, yeah, I don't know what, why you need to talk to us about that since you're not yeah, exactly. involved. Well, like... involved is a good Im umbrella term, you know. Um, in control, in charge, these might be better words to use. These pathways are really great, aren't they, Velxa? I know, right? They look amazing. They have potholes everywhere. You have potholes everywhere. 
<laughs> oh, so that's true. true. <laughs> that's, that's very true. Oh, you know, Dodo, while we're out here, um, and, and he can't hear us because the door is definitely closed. Mm, yeah, um, let me help you with that. There you, okay. You yep. know, I, I also have some insecurities. Have you noticed the, the shift in the color of my skin? Yes, now that you mention it, you have sort of a, hmm, a glowing honey-like tint to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm addicted now. It's, it's bad. I don't know what to do. You know, I've never had any. You mind if I try? Sure. Oh, you know what? That's actually pretty good. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And everybody's been knocking me for drinking. Oh, I like that. Time. Hey, please step into my office. Oh, uh, is, find what? a seat. It, this is very threatening. It's. Just, no, wait just, until just you come get past inside. The banner. You'll it's, be. It's a. It's a sight to behold. There's plenty of seats for everybody. Oh. Just come on in. Oh my. Find a place that calls to you. Find a good cozy spot. Welcome to my office, dear fellow members of PETA. Um, Hello. I love all the work that you've put into our good city. I just have a few small stipulations that I'm sure you won't mind. Our booming city under the benevolent mayor orb. Firstly of all, your sewers. A beautiful system. I just think that if we could put a few posters of orb here and there in the sewers, that would be great. Just to They look a little bit dirty, and I think that Orb's face would probably spice it up a little bit, make people more inclined to visit them. So that's, that's order number one, all right? Second one is we do need one long road. So make sure that you don't make any more offshoots. Uh, if you do, I will be forced to uh, cover them up. So one long road. If you need to get somewhere else, just kind of loop it around a little bit. That's what Orb would want. Agreed? Um, I'll, I'll put pictures of Orb in the sewers over my dead body. We can arrange that. No, so we don't need to listen to this. This we don't. usurper. We don't. Well, we really don't. it is the government, so... All we need, all we need is one long road. Maybe if you could fill in a few of the potholes, that would be a great extra bonus. And maybe a few other framed posters of orb kind of along the way. You know, like if you could put it like a billboard along the sides of some of the roads. Um, maybe they get like progressively bigger as you go along. You start with like a small orb face, then a bigger one. Maybe we get one like five blocks tall. Yeah. That would, that would look great. Yep. Inspiring? I, to be honest, I zoned out. If we That's could put them on the sides of people's mailboxes too, like where they brush up against the roads, that would be great. That's just right on the edges of your jurisdiction. I think you can you can make it work. This was a great meeting, guys. I'm excited to see what you do. I'm, Alex, what, uh, what are we going to do about, about I think, this? I think we, we listen to him just to get him off our back for now. But whenever, you know, the day of justice comes, we'll get our revenge. Mm -hmm. Hey, one totally. more one more thing. Forgot to mention this. Uh, not a big deal at all. But if you fail to comply, we will have to take you down to the catacombs. But I'm sure I'm sure it won't come to the that. The catacombs. You're becoming addicted. I could stop anytime I want. I'm it's sure you true. could. Maybe you should prove it. We can stop anytime we want. Uh -huh. But we don't we don't have to because there's nothing wrong with it Except it's just, it's just honey. It's that you're like starting exactly. to ooze and smell a little bit strange Smell like, like delicious sweet. sweet honey. You want yeah. people to chew on you? Okay, you know people people put perfume on them that smells like flowers and and apples mm -hmm. and cherries and other fruity mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So what's so wrong with smelling like honey? Well, Nothing. hopefully most people aren't addicted to eating the perfume. Bradley, let me just ask you a question. Okay. I keep hearing all these things about how great Mayor Orb is and how Mayor Orb is doing this and that for the town. Yes, a visionary. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you, Bradley. Okay. I don't see Mayor Orb. Where is Mayor Orb? He's very busy right now. Can you can you imagine how beautiful the world would be if everybody was Orb's loyal subject? 
and how well we would all get along, how beautiful the spawn would be. See, see, this sort of dissension is why we don't live in a perfect world now. You know what? You know what, Bradley? You know what? You make what? a good point. Yeah, Let I know. Go. I'm going to go start making some posters of Orb that we can post around town. Thank you. I knew you'd come I'll around. Be I'll be back shortly. Okay. What is this? What is this? Dodo. Oh, not another one. Oh, no, 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 no. Dodo. Oh, no. Dodo. 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 Hey, Bradley. Dodo, I... we, we have a problem. Somebody's put up these posters. Somebody's beating oh, yeah. you to it. Didn't you ask me this? No, that was me. That... Just like you asked. Yeah. I what? Put posters of you what? All over town. All over town, just like you asked. Dodo, we may have had a miscommunication. These were supposed to be beautiful pictures of Orb's face in like a, a state of glory. Yeah. How many of these do you have? Oh, well, I... I filled the printer full of paper and I just set it to print until it ran out. So probably hundreds. The environment is weeping right now. So am I. Mayor Orb is not going to be happy, Dodo. I can only protect you so much. You know that I have your best interests in mind, but you have to work with me. So, you don't like the posters? There might be a small problem uh, where this looks very treasonous. Treason? Treason? So that's what he's come to. Well, you brought us here. Don't act surprised. I well, I only did what you asked. You said posters of orb. You didn't specify. What I didn't to put in. think that I would have to specify that it should be a good image of orb. Um, as as far as I can tell, Mer orb doesn't seem like a mayor. He seems like a dictator. Oh, um, that's a good point. Though. What what has he done to control you? Hmm. What is the, it's treasonous to oh, put up Irish. signs like that? That definitely yes. seems like something a dictator would say. Yeah. If you were mayor, would you like a sign of your face with an X through it? I don't know if you've seen, but our lovely mayor has a little bit of of an anger problem when it comes to some beings, uh, specifically villagers. He doesn't always like them, and I'm I'm just a little bit worried that if he sees these, that might cross over a little bit into you, um, which we don't want to have happen. So I'm going to do what I can to protect you. You work fast. I'll give you that. Dodo, this is so good. No. It is, isn't it? Don't encourage him. Don't. No. No. I'm printing yeah. more. We could put them everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. We could just put them Where is this printer like, of this yours? Can I hang this one in my village? <laughs> Dodo yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it actually, I, I have to be honest, it was Bradley's idea to print all these out. Yeah. Wow. You gotta credit where credit's due. I said photos of Orb's face, not treasonous yeah, photos of photos. Orb's face. Rose, I've tried to tell him that Orb will not be happy and he doesn't seem to understand. Um, our lovely mayor enjoys hunting villagers for sport. We don't want that to, um become he enjoys hunting croc wearing dodos for sport but i'm afraid that it will be what what would orb have to give you for you to love him as much as you should a diplomatic election okay we can we can hire what what offices are open um for the office uh, FFS. The, uh we can hold an election for ffs How's that? A diplomatic election for the office of mayor. I'm sure that when Orb Agreed. gets old and passes away of old age, that we can hold an election for the next mayor. Now, the other appointments include uh, Deputy Mayor Rose, Historian oh, Michelio, absolutely, and uh, Admiral of the Seven Seas, Ender. What? What does Captain Ender do exactly? Oh, Captain Ender rules all the oceans and the ports and the ships. If you make a boat, it's it's technically Ender's. You've heard it here first. Your boats are safe. That's right. 
You know what isn't safe? What? Honey. Honey's not safe? Then why do we have these candles burning? Well, see, those are those are those are safe because they're on the table, don't worry. I was afraid I was afraid of the same thing at first as well, but no, people people are becoming addicted and it's spreading it's on the streets. Red is spreading mass panic. <laughs> This is some terrifying information. It is some terrifying information. Audience, what do you think? Oh, I, I think I see a hand. No, nope. I thought I saw a hand waved. I, uh, I, I don't know if any of them have hands. I think they have to have hands. Okay, I just haven't seen one yet. Maybe they, like, extend out. There's been one other update to Sniffershire, and that is the sewers. Yes! Did you know that there are now sewers connecting uh, all, of our, all of our toilets? I had heard such a thing. Now, thankfully, I don't have a toilet. But if I did, you can be sure it would be linked up to the sewers. I I have an outhouse, I'm afraid. You know, newscasting doesn't always pay well. I, I Not that I would ever go into the sewers, though. It's kind of dirty, nasty. Um, we, yes, we, would, yes. we would want to stay well away. But they are there uh, for your public health and safety, and that is just another thing Mayor Orb has done for Sniffershire. When you have a mayor this great, who needs a re-election? Well, that's all for today with us here at Slip, Blue Slip, Prune. Slip, I the salmon. Did you? Is there someone back there? What was that? This just in, a uh, story is currently happening here at Blue Prince. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kevin, Kevin. Kevin, you gotta follow. With us. With us. Keep close, uh, keep it tight. We are currently on the chase. Oh, I cannot see beyond you. Do you see them? I don't see anything, but I hear the noise. Slip, slop, I am a salmon. For those just tuning in, um, Red and I are currently on the chase, on the move for someone that just broke in to Blueprint Stonky News Station. I think it's going this way. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Something j It's coming from in here. From in here? With the fire. Oh. Um, uh, Kevin? Yes. Kevin, are you getting this? Are you seeing this? Kevin? Kevin, please, close up on this. Kevin. Well, I guess we'll leave it here then. Slip slop, I am a salmon.